Hey, hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Let's Talk About It, Jen. I have the beautiful Miss Castillo here with me. I'm not going to butcher her name. She's going to tell you her name herself because I think it is absolutely beautiful. Miss Castillo, you. let everybody know who you are and what your business is. So my name is Adelaide Cosio, and I actually go by Addie the Batty, my friends and my family and just kind of gave me that nickname because I used to be really insecure when I was younger and then you know how this whole trend came about you know you're a bad fish so that's how Addie the Baddie came about mm -hmm. and my business is ATB Cosmetics which stands for Addie the Baddie Cosmetics nice. so growing up I suffered with a lot of acne and I didn't have clear skin I was like the typical nerdy girl had the glasses had the braces and a full face of acne Oh my goodness. So, you know, I always had my hair up and, you know, all those little things. And as the years progressed, I like, like really just concentrated a lot on my skincare and a lot of what goes into my body. So, you know, whatever you go in comes out. So once I started changing my diet, I was like, okay, now I have to start focusing on what goes on my skin and what's good for my skin. And that's how I started ATV. Now I have skincare products and I focus to make sure like all the makeup is cruelty free and vegan. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how are your cosmetics different from your competitors? I know you mentioned that a lot of your products are vegan based. So exactly what does that mean? So being that it's vegan based, meaning it's everything has natural preservatives. Nothing has any harsh chemicals that will probably hurt your skin, make you break out or, you know, cause any burns to your face. I suffered a lot of that throughout the years. I would get a lot of like burn marks on my skin because of these different products that will have these preservatives, you know, to try to make them, you know, last a long time and yeah, you know, yeah. it's supposed to be helping and it really didn't. Oh. So Okay, cool. So what what different um products do you have? Do you carry lipsticks, eyeshadows, the whole nine? I have right now I have everything. So I have lip gloss. I'm actually wearing my two kissy lip gloss, this is my best seller. Okay. I have loose pigment eyeshadows, which are multi-use. So I have nail techs that also buy them and they use the pigments to make, you know, create nails. And then I have, you know, you can use it as eyeshadow as you can see I have it on right now. Nice. So I draw, it was, it's neon colors. It was focused for the Pride collection, you know, for Pride Month because I'm also part of the LGBT community. Okay. So I wanted to dedicate, you know, a whole collection to them and, you know, my brothers and sisters and stuff like that. So, and then I also sell lashes, of course, because, you know, big blinks only. So. Okay. I mean, come on yeah. now. You can't, you can't have one without the other. I, I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> so, so what? I mean, as, hmm? go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I mean, then I was just going to say, and then of course I also have my skincare products, which I make everything myself. All my skincare products are, you know, are made to order. I don't have anything like pre-made or waiting to be going out. No, as soon as like anybody places the order, I go ahead and I make it. And it, it could be one in the morning or one in the afternoon. And I'm just going to make it right there and then, and then I ship it next day. So, nice. Okay, so everything is in-house. So you don't have to wait yeah. on anything. Nah, okay. Good deal. I like it. I like it. So Thank the you. lashes. Now you didn't tell me about the lashes. Girl, you have oh, to expand on that, darling. Well, what, what kind of lashes do you have? So, right now, the style that I'm wearing, these are the style baddie, which is my top one favorite. Obviously, it's named after me, right? <laughs> and then I have other two top sellers, which is called Adore and Leaf. Okay, so Leaf is like really dramatic, like a night out, and you just want to, you know, like kind of just wow everybody. Mm -hmm. And then you have Adorn, which is also really full but it's a little bit shorter. So for me, batty is like more, it's more lightweight and it's more like an everyday lash for me, for me personally. Some people might say, no, this is too dramatic still, but this is like where I'm coming from. Like batty is the one that I would wear every day. Like if I'm going to work or I'm just going down the block because I can't look crazy. <laughs> so things like that. <laughs> Well, listen, the ones that you are wearing are absolutely beautiful. I like those on you. you. Those are very pretty. Okay, girl, yes, I love it. Okay, so what have you noticed in the in the beauty industry now that is the new trend? I've noticed now that everybody's really big on lashes and brows and skincare. 
Okay. You know, I feel like a couple of years ago when I was just like, you know, warming up to wearing makeup and stuff like that, everybody was really crazy about foundation and concealer. Mm -hmm. Now it's all about the brows. Now it's about the brow lamination, make them look fuller, more square, more just, you know, give them that square. No one's really going for that very natural, natural look. Everybody wants that mm -hmm. square look. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed that. And then I've also noticed everyone is going crazy with the skincare products. Like they're really focusing on like having vitamin E and, hydro and hydraulic acid, which I have, which is one of my, my facial serums. That's what I've noticed. Okay. So a lot of people are not really focused on like getting stuff like, you know, like proactive. People are starting to notice, you know, big brands like that don't really work and they're actually harming your skin more than if you really take the time to really do research and find like a, a vegan skincare product that really will help your skin and give you like that natural glow. So that's what I've noticed. Gotcha. Okay, nice. Good deal. So tell me about your journey as an entrepreneur. Like what were some of the highs and lows of your journey? So let me start with the lows. So I actually opened up ATV about a month ago now. So I'm very new to this. And the first time, you know, that I decided I was like, I'm going to do ATV. And I was like, I want to do gloss because I've always been known for gloss. I, I just wear lip gloss all the time, no matter what, even before I go to bed. So <laughs> I decided to go, you know, you know, I decided to support, try to support another small business and try to get the lip gloss kit now that they send you the tubes and everything you need and little instructions. And I actually got scared for almost $150. Oh my gosh. So that was a really, really low for me because I was really excited and, you know, she communicated with me. She's like, you're going to have yourself within two weeks and I didn't. So I kind of set me back, but I kind of bounced back because I was able to find another small business who was able to, you know, customize a lip, a lip gloss kit for me because they don't actually sell it. And that's how I was able to launch ATV. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. So we... Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> no, and then I was going to say, you know, my ups, because, you know, I was a little sad. My ups are is I actually met my goal for June. My goal for June was actually to reach 50 orders before the month ended, and I actually reached 52 orders. That's awesome. So awesome. it's been a lot of fun, and I've actually been getting orders every day, so that's, like, a really big high for me because, you know, when you start off, you don't really expect to get an order every single day, but it's, like, every single day I get at least one order, which is really great. Yeah. Because it's like, I know I'm putting myself out there and I'm doing a lot of self-promotion. I feel like my hard work is really, really paying off. And, you know, I took a leap of faith with everything going on. Yes, especially with everything going on. And I, I think that's, a, and that's an amazing thing because with COVID going on, everybody is, you know, kind of, they're in a frenzy right now. Uh, but a lot of people are doing a lot of online shopping. So the yeah. people that have these online businesses are booming right now. Like it's, it's, it's great for them. So that is an absolute blessing for you. I'm glad that you reached your goal. It's just the beginning, darling. It's just the start. So just the right? <laughs> it is absolutely. just the beginning. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So if you could change anything about your journey so far, uh, what would you change? I could change anything. I would have started sooner. I wish I would have started sooner and I would have listened when my mom was telling me to launch my own business. Yeah. I yeah. feel like this first month, like these first 30 days really, really showed me that I am in demand. People want what I want and people really care about my opinion and what I'm selling and what I'm doing. So I wish I would have just listened, but I'm glad that I started when I started because without COVID as bad as it is, I don't think I would have launched my business because I never had the time. It's like kind of COVID forced me to be home and I had to take that decision between, am I going to be proactive or am I just going to be at home waiting until everything's over? And, you know, COVID really gave me the time and self-reflection that I needed to push forward. So I wish I would have started sooner, but I'm also glad I didn't because now I have like a main focus and this is like my full-time job. Like my whole dedication is to this. Absolutely. I listen. I love it. I absolutely love it to see business owners flourish in a time where people are just kind of like, what am I going to do? And then these business owners just come out of nowhere and it's like, boom, here I am. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. So where can my viewers um, get in contact with you? Do you have a website, an email address? Facebook, I Instagram. have a website, I have an email, I have an Instagram, I have TikTok, I got Twitter, you can tweet me. 
So my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok handles are ATB underscore cosmetics. Okay. And then my Facebook would be facebook.com slash ATB cosmetics. Gotcha. And you can find me there. So everything is everything is pretty much the same. And then my email address is info at atbcosmetics.com. Real simple. You know, awesome. trying to keep everything together. Like if you go to my website, it'll direct you to my Facebook, it'll direct you to my Instagram, my TikTok, my Pinterest. I forgot I have Pinterest as well. So I'm I'm all over the place. That I'm is literally awesome. all over the place. So that is awesome. I love it. Well, guys, listen, there she is. She's as beautiful as she can be. Y'all make sure that y'all support her and you love on her. Hey, she may have something that you need. She may have the right color that you're looking for. Y'all make sure y'all give her some support because that's what we need. These small businesses, they're coming up out of nowhere and we need to support them. So thank you so much for letting me spotlight you, showcase you. You are absolutely- Thank you so much. I love no, it. No, thank love you, it. honestly. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> thank you for letting, giving me a platform to be here and really just put a face to the brand. Yes, absolutely. Everybody out there. I love it. All right, guys. So her link is going to be at the top of this video. Y'all make sure y'all click it. Show her some love. Send, and share this. Comment. Like. Send it to the people that you love, even the ones that you don't. It's okay. We need we, we some support. <laughs> yes, support, support, support. Support is what and it is. I forgot to add, I'm actually looking for brand ambassadors. You get a significant discount and you get exclusives to all the new products before I drop it. I send you gifts. You get 50% off on your birthday and one free item of your choosing. Nice. Okay, so how do the brand ambassadors get in touch with you? So. Uh, same thing. They can email me, Instagram me, Facebook, however they feel comfortable. They can tweet me if they want to tweet me. You know, I'm available at all times of the day, at all times of the night. I'm always on my phone. I get, I have all my notifications on loud. So I'm going to get your message. I'm going to get, and I get back to every single person. Wait, no matter. All right. Well, there you go. Hey, she needs brand ambassadors. And I know, I know a couple of people that will be beautiful in your, in your cosmetics. So I hope y'all are watching because uh, this is an opportunity right here. Y'all pay attention. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And hey, this is my, that's my time. And guess what? We just talked about it. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all make sure y'all reach out to her because she's doing her thing. All right. I'm here. Peace. <laughs>